Hello, is it me you're looking me for? I'm looking for? Cause I can see it in your eyes, and I can see it in your glasses. <laughs> What is up, you sexy nerds? I am Wildfire One. You're listening and watching Nerds New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast. And this is episode 102 of season six. Season six. That's a lot of seasons. What the fuck is wrong with me? But anyway, with me today is... Grizzly McBee. What's up, y'all? And uh, Grizzly, what are we talking about today? I mean, what's the topic of the podcast? To be honest with you, it's taken us uh, almost an hour and a half to figure out what we're going to talk about today. Uh, but we're going to talk about movies that have already come out and that are coming out in 2019. Second podcast of the year. Yeah, this is the second podcast of the year. 2019, guys. We got a lot of movies coming out. We got a lot of stuff. A lot oh, of yeah. shit is happening. We want to talk about some movies. Motherfucking movies. So let's talk about some motherfucking movies. Oh, yeah. So 2019 is gonna be awesome. Fuck, when it comes it's to gonna movies. be epic. It's gonna be like oh, Marvel yeah. Universe epic. It's gonna be, I don't know if DC, they've let us down a little bit, but we'll see. I have hopes. And, and you know, surprisingly, <sighs> a lot of Disney movies coming out. Frozen 2. Let Frozen it go! Where's, where's Gambit? Let it where's Gambit? <laughs> uh, Dumbo. Dumbo. Aladdin. The Lion King. The Lion Aladdin. King. But we'll, get, we'll get into those. We'll get into those. We have uh, a list a of... A dream come true for me, which we will... I personally will touch on once we get to it in the list. Yeah. So let's let's start with this list of... of of great movies that we're excited for. And Grizzly has the list because unfortunately I have to record us like we are. I have to have the screen, a uh, large screen. And I mean, I guess I could check it on my phone, but I'm fucking lazy. So <laughs> get to work, Grizzly. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to be going over this list, um, of movies, uh, coming out in, in order throughout the year. And the first one we have is, uh, glass that came out in January. Um, yeah. Because I think it's a a Shyamalan movie. It's supposed to be, like, it was supposed to be a a three-parter, wasn't it? Yeah. And I I really got to sit down and watch, because I hear how awesome these movies are. What was the first movie called, like, Indestructible or something like that? We got Bruce Willis, Samuel L. Jackson, and you got, like, a whole plethora of other actors. Right? Yeah. And it's, it's, how can you lose with superheroes? Right. Especially bad guy superheroes like these guys. Or supervillains. Yeah. Before I watch the actual, you know, glass in general, I gotta watch the originals, and I because I refuse to go out and let that let that be unfinished, you know. So what else? What else do we got? The Legos Movie Two, the second part. It came out on the eighth, so not that long ago. Uh, again, haven't been able to go and see that. Uh, you know, so. we're nerd working yeah. nerds, and we got to make uh, that money to live, and you know. But you know, everything is awesome. <laughs> everything is awesome, awesome. I, you know uh, i'm glad that i liked the first movie like i'm not one of those fanatics that, like everyone was big on the simpsons movie when it first came out like i wasn't i wasn't mm-hmm. a fanatic. i was the same way with the lego movie i was like oh you know it's okay and then i watched it and i was like oh okay it's that it, there's a lot of little subtle winks and shit and funny goofy voice actors that are in there that we know from other places like i think wolf ferrell was in the first one you know correct me if i'm wrong nerds i very well could be i'm pretty sure wolf ferrell played the bad guy but anyway that was the first lego movie so the second one i'm i'm curious to see what it's about uh i'll probably yeah. be one of those things that i'm gonna wait till it's on dvd before i watch it because <laughs> it's not one of those movies i'm just gonna like shit myself to go see yeah you know? yeah like it's you know every, I, everything is awesome i don't need legos to tell me that <laughs> okay so uh the next one on the list is uh alita battle angel oh and i posted that, that. one yeah yeah, I posted that one about that. Really good on our Facebook uh, page. Um, yeah, and that, that one actually uh, just came out. I believe in just select theaters. It, um, um, so I, it hasn't. I, I don't believe it's quite had the full release yet. Yeah, there's two uh, things about that. Two things that bother me. One, it's a little too CG. 
from what I've yeah. seen. From what I've seen, I, I can't give you a full from like, like with, I, with the trailers. And everything. Yeah, it's yeah. way. It's just super CG. It looks good, but the problem with CG is it doesn't it doesn't age well. Like twenty years yeah. from now, we're gonna look back and go, "What the fuck was wrong with us?" You know. Five uh, years from now. Five years from now, exactly. And and in two, like, <laughs> it seems like every time we do a, a, a movie based off an anime, it uh, it turns out bad. I mean. I think I think the only one that can do it pretty decently is Netflix, and we've talked about that. Yeah, uh, yeah. Netflix has their offs and ons, and and some of them are great, and some of them aren't so great. And we've talked about that. We're not going to go. We're not going to rehash that. But the uh, it seems like you know what was that what was the last animated uh, or, or 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 movie that was based off an anime? It was uh, uh, Ghost in the Shell, I believe. And look how well that did. Yeah. So next well, this movie. next one, um, uh, a lot of our, our our fans and viewers may not be, you know, all hyped about it. I am because I am a diehard wrestling fan, and that is Fighting With My Family, um, which is about uh, Paige, who is a uh, WWE Page. diva. No. No. Oh, no. I'll take it back. No. She's a diva. Um, she's a diva or he's a diva? She is a okay, diva. I'm just making she's sure. About her, um, you know, trying out for the WWE and making it. Oh, okay, um, so and, it's her story. Yeah, and, um, okay. you know, meeting The Rock and, uh, you know, getting advice from him on how to become her. You know, oh, in the I've seen world. the commercials with yeah. for that. Yeah, yeah. I've, seen, I've seen little bits and tidbits on Twitter. <laughs> okay. Um, again, in just select theaters. I think it was uh, only released in um, L.A. and New York for the time okay. being. Okay. Um, but do, as soon as it it. You, are we gonna are we gonna get a, a review from you, Grizzly? Oh, you better bet and believe you're a, getting a, a Grizzly review. movie laying down review. Oh yeah. All right. Still laying down. Still laying down. Next on the list. Um, I, I know one that uh, that uh, you had mentioned earlier that you're kind of excited about is um, Happy Death Day to You, which is the the uh, sequel to the first one. Did I say uh, I know you're all into the... That? Yeah. You know, could you, the I don't whole, even remember whole... death, Happy Death Day. I don't remember that. Are you well, sure you're talking about me? Yeah. I mentioned I mentioned it earlier. I did. I, I but I didn't yeah. say. I like. I didn't. I didn't think I was excited you about said, it. You said, you said you can't wait to see it. Okay. Well, then we'll go to the next one. Yeah. I am really excited. No, about. It, no, and it's okay. <laughs> I, I, I'm getting old. I guess I'm getting senile. It's all right. Go on. Next movie. Uh, which I'm really excited about is the new How to Train Your Dragon: The Hidden World. That I'm excited for uh, too, because anything, anything like 3D animation. DreamWorks, oh, yeah. DreamWorks, anything like that is really interesting. And and How to Train Your Dragon, I think is, and we've talked about this, I think, because we we did an interview with with a, a a rather rather fun young lady who who dressed as one of the characters uh, mm-hmm. a while back, and we talked about how like some of those characters aren't recognized as not as much yeah. as they should be yeah. in some of our opinions. And that show, I mean, it's really good. I mean, the ad, voice acting in that show, the movies were always good. I mean, they got a, they had a series. I think they still do. I think Netflix did some yeah, stuff. Yeah, there, there's um, a Netflix series, um, uh, How to Train Your Dragon: Race to the End. Yeah, which I binge watched twice. <laughs> I gotta it, watch it. Good. I haven't seen it. Uh, my girlfriend and I have been watching those. No, I. Masturbate. What do I look like? Pinocchio? Lie to me, Wild. Lie to me. We are recording this on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on! <laughs> um, Captain Marvel. Uh, oh, that's out March 8th. And a lot of a lot of people have been going crazy about that. And I'm excited for it, too. I want to see her save the world. I want to see what's going on. Yeah. I want to see, yeah. like... Oh, I want to because I I I'm gonna be honest with you. I know little to nothing about Captain Marvel, to the point where I thought she was a he for the longest time. Yeah, yeah, and, and you know, and that <laughs> just shows how much of the how much of the MCU I know, like how much of the Marvel the Marvel or just Marvel in general. Because I think at one point it was a male, and then it changed sometime. I I don't know. 
because I'm not the I'm not the Marvel guy. Gambit is. I'm the DC dude. So, yeah. And I'm excited to see what they do with her. I'd love to see what storyline. I'm going to be a baby nerd when it comes in comes to to to, to her, but I'm still excited. And on top of that, I candy. Yeah. See, here, here's the only downfall with Captain Marvel. Right? Disney. Why do you have to buy all of the good shit? Because <laughs> they own everything. Everything. I know. I saw that my dream movie is finally coming out later this year. Who fucking bought it? Fuck. Fucking Disney. So pissed. <laughs> so pissed. Because I know it's going to be good, but they're going to perverse the shit out of it. And it's already pissing me off. And the movie hasn't even come out. Are we, are we at that on the list now? Are we already there? No. Oh, another Disney studio. A Dumbo. Growing up. Tearjerker. Especially as a younger kid. It was a tearjerker. It was a tearjerker. And it was and always will be the ultimate classic for somebody that drew up, grew up in the time that Dumbo came out. And I'm talking the animated. Yeah, no. But it's coming out in a live action Dumbo. And I, it, as soon as I, I I saw that first little like sneak peek trailer where it was just like Playing an the elephant an yeah. elephant in a uh, in a train car and then a no. little mouse comes out of a crack. I was like, no. No. Danny DeVito's in Danny DeVito is in this movie. What? Yeah, Danny. If I remember oh, reading yeah, correctly, yeah. Danny he, DeVito's right there. Uh, he's he's uh, looks like he's the circus master. Yes. And nice. there's a few others. There's a few others that I can't think of off the top of my <clears> head. <throat> but it's it's got a pretty good like um, list of people. Well, you know what? Let me, let me take a quick look here. Okay, take a gander. Okay, here we go. Um, if you look carefully, you can read it off his glasses. Eva Green. Colin Farrell. Okay, Colin Michael, Farrell. Michael Keaton. Oh, shit. Okay. Danny DeVito. Alan Arkin. Like, Jesus Christ. There's some, there's um, some names in this movie. Disney Danny owns DeVito's everybody. Daughter, Lucy DeVito. Okay. Who is uh, smoking hot. Um, Joseph Gatt. Names. I'm pretty sure Dude. we called in an earlier podcast that... that these movies were coming out like Dumbo and Aladdin. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure we called this. I'm, I'm not the, you know, tutor on horn, but yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, that one comes out, um, uh, March 29th. Super excited for that one. That's if it continues to come out the time it says it's coming out. So yeah, cause you yeah. never know. They might push it back. So, okay. Mm-hmm. That, 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 that's one I'm excited for too. Cause I've got a lot of nostalgia and love for Dumbo. So, Oh, uh, so anyway. moving on to the next movie um, is Shazam, which I don't know. I, I kind of have mixed emotions about. I'm excited about for it. I'm Shazam. Because it's a DC fucking movie, and I'm fucking hoping it's good. For once, we get a DC movie that's actually not a shit show. Well, you know it's going to be shit because Disney hasn't bought bought rights to it yet. <laughs> but yeah, Disney, Disney can't control everything that's good. They're- but see, we we've talked about this while Disney's back there, like hold my beer. Marvel has good movies. DC has good TV. TV. Shows. Yeah. This is a DC movie. <laughs> I know, but it look the commercials look good. Come on, tell me you I haven't seen see, those those trailers and weren't like, corny. oh, I can't wait. It looks corny. Oh, you're fucking killing me. You're killing me. It does. It looks corny. Okay, well, I'm going to watch this, and I'll do a fucking review on it. If it's a piece of shit, then I will probably be pissed, (laughs) but I will do... I will tell you that fucking it's a piece of shit. (laughs) God damn it. Let me have some hope! (laughs) All right, next movie. Uh, Next one on the list, which... uh, I don't like scary movies. But with that being said, I grew up watching this on TV as a kid. And that is Pet Cemetery. 
Oh, they're remaking the Pet Cemetery. Yep, 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 yep. Pet yep, yep. Cemetery. It looks horrifying. To be honest with you. In April. And and it out does, of dude. <laughs> just the cover that it's it's showing here for the movie, like I'm I'm wanting to like sleep with a knife under my pillow. Out of and, all of Stephen King's movies, you know, books based that turned into movies, Pet Cemetery was probably the one that freaked me out the most as in my adolescence, as when I was mm-hmm. a little older, and yeah. because. Man, it's just because it's, you know, that, that that fucking kid. Fuck that kid. Fuck that kid. Do you want to play? Let's play. Play. Fuck that kid. Fuck you. Fuck that shit. Get the, get out of my face. None of them. Oh, that, you know they're going to reenact that shit. I'm not oh, watching it for that reason. You know what? I'm going to come to your place. We'll watch We're going to drink we'll and snuggle. watch that movie. We'll snuggle. Not really. Huh. Maybe. I'll let him lie. We always got <laughs> All of the homo. Continue. N- no homo. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then another one that we've briefly talked about um, in the past that we're both kind of excited for, but kind of skeptical about at the same time. Yeah. And that is the actual remake of Hellboy. Yeah, I'm. I you know what? I don't like, and I I know we said this. I'll just briefly touch base. I'd have felt better if it was a continuation. Yeah, but you know, um, I actually watched um on YouTube, uh, an interview that somebody had done with um Perlman, uh, Ron Perlman. I think I've seen the same. Uh, but asking uh his opinion about uh the remake of Hellboy. Uh, Cause it's uh, going to be completely different than the original Hellboy. Mm-hmm. It's remade um, literally supposedly. Yeah, so we'll see. Yeah. Um, and if you watch and, the same one I did, Perlman didn't have much to say. No, he, he really didn't. Uh, it wasn't negative. He, said he was, he was kind of disappointed at the fact that, um, they didn't come the person they him. chose to play Hellboy didn't kind of come to him to ask him for advice or, yeah. or anything So we did like watch that. the same one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which, I mean, in, in my opinion, if you're going to be in the remake of of an go, awesome movie. You go to the first, I mean, the first actor, of course. Sh- sh- show the original actor some respect and, you know, at least reach out to them. Yeah, well, I think the guy that got to play him is a pretty good actor too. So yeah, yeah, um, you know. yeah. Maybe and, so. may, and maybe I mean we we can't speak for the actor. The actor may have been told not to talk to Ron Perlman, but how yeah, you, you you never know. There, there's always some sort of some sort of like there's always another <laughs> story. So we can't necessarily blame one or the other. It just sucks because Ron Perlman was a damn good Hellboy. Yeah, in our yeah. opinion. In my opinion, I, that, I'm pretty sure you agree. Pretty damn good actor in anything. Like an animated adventure comedy, uh, Missing Link, supposed to come out in the middle of April. It, it it's really weird, but is it like a Encino Man kind of thing? No, no. Um, he kind of looks like Bigfoot. Um, I'm losing more and more interest in this. <laughs> But not really Bigfoot. Um, well, he like gets brought into society and like is trying to be. I don't know. A pet. They're trying to make him civilized, I guess. Like Encino Man. Yeah, it didn't work know. when Pauly Shore did it. It's probably yeah, not going to work this time. Go fuck yourself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> One that I know you and I are both interested in. Um. Uh, is Avengers Endgame? Oh fuck yeah! I want to see what's next in the what. I want to see what happened to Dustin the Wind. I want to see how they ended up beating Thanos's ass because he deserves it. Damn good actor. Damn oh, you know actor. all the characters yeah, are coming I, I, back. You know that that well, they're they're yeah, bringing I back Spider Man. 
Yeah, later this year they're doing another Spider-Man Exactly. Movie. You know that they're bringing them back, oh. and I, I can tell you what I think they're going to... Uh, you guys, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I'm going to tell you they're going to bring him back with a fucking... One of the Infinity Stones, the one in Control's time. It's it it, it I, if you can't see this it, and I, I if I'm wrong I'm wrong but I'm pretty damn sure that's where they're gonna go like one of them's gonna be like oh the time Infinity Stone oh blah, 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 and then shit will happen and then poof, everyone's back yeah and that's what's I, gonna I, happen I, we'll we'll see we'll, we'll see what what happens there <laughs> fucking I'm surprised I hit that pitch. <laughs> was like that was like that was like like if Mickey Mouse took steroids. Ridiculous! Ridiculous! <laughs> yeah, it's about the same. The same. Because t- <laughs> I used to say that a lot. Ridiculous! Oh, man. Okay, <sighs> moving on. Okay, uh, so another one that I'm uh, pretty excited about is the Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Oh yeah, you movie. even did a. Um, a I, I did a trailer, a trailer review on that. Yeah. Uh, so that's supposed to come out uh, in May supposed to come out in may i'm excited for uh, ryan reynolds guys come on you can't fucking yeah. lose ryan reynolds yeah. ryan reynolds can touch shit with shit and it become magic there's just just something about that guy just i i mean i mean with the exception of you know uh green lantern but that's dc it's cursed yeah he, he even hated that movie cursing, cursing. i don't care what kind of suit i get just don't let it be green or animated <laughs> I'm not too sure about this one, but I'm kind of curious about the, uh, the, the name title? of the movie. Well, let's yeah. hear it. Oh, it's called Tolkien. Um, <laughs> no, like R. Tolkien? Like possible Lord of the Rings? Uh, it's It's a drama biography, so it's very possible. Oh, it would be great because I'd love to know uh, more about that guy. This, this website is not... Yes, J.R.R. Tolkien. It is is a biography. Good. Now we can um, learn more about the guy he, who made. He's played Holt. by Nicholas Holt. 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 H O U L T. Holt. 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 Okay. Don't. Don't. Need, it's okay. Don't Nicholas. do it. Nicholas. Kind of curious about that one now myself. Um, I'd love our Tolkien, so I'm very excited to maybe see and learn more about him. You know, hopefully it's not all fixed. You know, all fake. It's there's some facts. Also in May. Which another one that I want to see is a John Wick chapter three. Oh yeah, Paradella. the John Wick series is watching oh, amazing. Watching Keanu Reeves kick someone's ass is just is it's boner material. This next one kind of kind of upsets me because there's no information on it. Well, what's, what's it called? It? What's the name? Doom. <laughs> well, didn't we already have that movie and it had Dwayne the Rock Johnson? Based yeah, off, is it based off the game? Maybe. Um, you know, it might be because uh, I don't recognize a fucking person in it. Doom. I guess we'll probably hear uh, more about it in the future. But like looking at the names of the cast members, it, okay, it says it's an action horror sci-fi. That sounds like Doom. But it's got none of the names of the. Like e- even the the characters in the game, well, I think, none of them. I think there's only a few characters there's that like we can. A doctor, a doctor, a doctor, a doctor, a captain, <laughs> and a chaplain. <laughs> like a chaplain. Maybe yeah. they're trying to keep it like on the down low, or we can't. We no one knows what's about. That way, it surprises us when it comes out. And no one knows what's it about. Nobody knows who the hell's in it. Cause do. <clears throat> big announcement on this one uh I'm sure everybody's watched the trailer of it by now um and that's uh uh blue will smith i mean uh aladdin <laughs> blue will smith uh, with all the yeah you we were just talking about all the memes that came out right after you yeah. saw the trailer um uh, so live action aladdin you know i'm really <laughs> really excited about this one um, you know, I I know there's a lot of memes out there. A lot of people giving Will Smith crap. Um, Will Smith is a great actor. I'm gonna give him that. You gotta give him. He's some an credit. amazing actor. He's he's an amazing comedian. But he's no Robin Williams. But, but they're putting him no in the one shadow. Ever will be. Yeah, you got in going into this, watching this, you gotta have to get that out of your mind. That, that but they're yeah. putting it by doing this though, they're putting him in the shadow of Robin Williams, and that that is a 
big shoe to fill. Like Yeah, but at the same time, if it turns out to be an amazing movie, now just bear with me here. If it turns out to be an amazing movie like the animated Aladdin, Will Smith is going to be the same thing for this this younger generation that Robin Williams was for, for us. us as yep. Kids. yep. And, and I, I think, I think he has a potential. Will Smith I, I has the potential. He can do this. He can do this. And I think I think he can I, as long, you know, and he can even make the character his. He doesn't even have to act like Robin Williams. He just be Will Smith being the genie, you know, it, it, yeah. and he could still do it and he could still get away with it. And I, I'm excited to see what happens and we'll see. He we'll see. Either, he could really screw it up or it could really hit it out of the park. And I'm really hoping yeah. it gets it out of the park. I'm yeah. excited. I'm hoping this movie is good because I loved the cart. You know, I love the animated Aladdin. I loved everything. Everything mm-hmm. was great. I hope they continue doing with what they're doing with some of these, these, um, these animated into live action movies where they're keeping some of the music in and you still get a little dance and mm-hmm. singing and, you know, but they're not doing it over the top. Uh, and we talked about that in another one. And we even called Aladdin was going to be one of the live action movies that they were going to do. And, and that, that we were hoping because for, because we yeah. did a, we did a, a podcast on, on the live action, you know, what would he like to see live action as far as, um, Disney cartoons and Disney animated series. Mm-hmm. And we talked about and Dumbo was one of them. I think that uh, we talked about the Lion King. We talked about Aladdin. I mean, I wouldn't, I'm pretty sure we said there's going to be a little mermaid. I'm pretty sure we said, mm-hmm. yeah, we did say there was going to be a little mermaid where we called that. And we, and I guess there is going to be a little mermaid. I, they're talking about, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know, there, I, I've said it before and I'll say it again with these Disney movies. They're going to ring it like a sponge and just get as much money as they can out of it. And, but that's what Disney does. Yeah. But you, you got to think too, Disney's smart about it. Yeah. Until they're not because smart about it. They're not necessarily taking older <coughs> movies, like from our generation that were movie movies and completely changing them to where, no, you know, it's completely different. No, they're taking animated movies from when we were younger and turning them into live action movies. Almost so not only, scene. Yeah. That not only catches the attention of the younger generation, but it hooks those that grew up watching the animated with version. nostalgia for the old one. Yeah, I, I understand. Exactly. And I get I get where they're going, but I'm telling you that's what Disney does is then, and you see it with the, the star Wars franchise. You see it with the Marvel franchise. You know, you think if I legally change my name to Walt Disney, I could, I could get in on get some me. of that action. I think that you'd have to sacrifice a child to the devil every 10 years. But yeah, <laughs> it does, it does, it, you, you never said it had to be my child. No, you can point at someone oh. else's kid and that you don't like and be like, that's my first part. I'll just walk around Disneyland and be like, hey, he's stirred up. Take that one. It's a small world after all. <laughs> okay, well, let's, let's move on. Let's move on. All right, next one. Uh, next one on the list. I know uh, you, Gambit, myself have talked about this one in the past. And that's uh, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. Where uh, like, these people have to go and find the uh, quote-unquote Titans. Yeah, so uh, so it's which it's is fighting Mothra, Mothra and, yeah, and Rodan, um, not Rodan, Rodan, some of the other char- some of the other monsters from yeah. the older movies. All, all the monsters that he killed back in the day when it was claymation. So excited. Um, or people in suits. Yeah. yeah. Um, the, I, they, they pretty much have to like save the world, from my understanding, uh, but they have to wake them all up to do so. Uh, I I don't know. I'm I'm. I'm kind of curious we'll, to see, we'll how, see how they're going to do it. We'll see. But any Godzilla um, movie makes my nipples hard. So the next one on the list, um, I know you and I were talking a little bit about it earlier, and that's Rocket Man. Original. Rocket Man. <laughs> burning out of, out of there alone. I don't know. For a shit is. show, you know the tunes a lot better than I it's do. It's just a song, <laughs> shithead. That did nothing to do with a fucking stupid ass <laughs> You know what I'm thinking? Actually, I take it back. I I, I take it back. Rocket Man, Man might not be what I thought it was because I thought it was a Rocketeer. The Rocketeer was a shit show of a movie. Yeah, Rocket Rocketeer was was. Uh, yeah, so Rocket Man, maybe I'll watch. You know, maybe. 
Uh, yeah. yeah. Maybe I will be excited uh, for. So next one on the list um, is a Dark Phoenix. Oh yes, Dark Phoenix. Yeah. Marvel, Disney. Uh, Ringing that no. fucking sponge. Twentieth Century Fox. Not Disney. Not Disney. Not Marvel. Is there, is there like a lightning storm coming? Am I gonna die? What's I, going I on here? Don't know. And Not, see, the th- wait, wait. It is Marvel. It's fucking Fark Phoenix, right? It has to be Marvel. Um. So Jean Grey be- begins to develop increasing powers that corrupt and turn her into Dark Phoenix. Now the X Men will have to decide <laughs> if the life of a team member is worth more than all the people living in the world. You know what? Jean Grey is hot. Jean Grey is really hot. So you know what? Yeah, she but see, here's live. the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, Dark Phoenix, <laughs> not played by the original Jean Grey. Well, I'm sure they're going to find someone that's still hot. If they oh, found, yeah. uh, if they found someone that wasn't hot to play Jean Grey, I'm sure that would piss a lot of people um, off. I'm, I'm look, looking at her picture right now, like covered in flames when, when she turns into the Phoenix. Let's just say, uh, hubba, hubba. I'm glad my girlfriend's not in my house. They're, they're kind of going with the, uh, like the same group of people from. X Men First Class, mm. which you know, I'm really surprised that uh, Marvel Studios and Disney isn't doing this. Well, Marvel's probably uh, putting their stamp on it, but Disney. Jennifer Lawrence, James McAvoy, Sophie Turner is the one playing Jean Grey. Okay, don't know who she is, but that's okay. She's almost 23. 23. Let's here's see. the D. Looks like she was in Game of Thrones. Okay. Time Freak. Barely Lethal. She was in X Men Apocalypse. Okay, so we're excited to see this nonetheless, and uh, you know, it, it looks like it looks like it sounds like it'll be an interesting movie. We'll see, we'll yeah. see, because because when it comes to like the X Men and and anything that involves that particular character, sometimes they drop the ball. Still kind of curious why Twentieth uh, Century Fox is the studio and not Marvel or maybe they have uh, maybe they have like license over that maybe they did the first movie or oh, something. over over the over the dark gray uh the dark phoenix yeah, yeah. that's possible because i think that they had um, to do with the first the x-men movies and stuff i could be wrong yeah. but next set of movies what, what next movie what do you got okay next movie also coming out in june supposedly is the secret life of pets 2 i thought the first one was freaking hilarious um i've i've seen one of the trailers for for uh, part two. So you're excited so, for this one. I, yeah. yeah. I, that, that just seemed like it was one of those like throwaway 3D animated movies for me. And eh, that's what it is. So also in June. Oh, yeah. Men in Black International. So literally it's uh, the new Men in Black movie, which uh, that yeah. is going to be interesting to watch. I, yeah, and it's I know Will Smith and, I, and, and the other guy. It's like the British version, I think. Like it. Station in Britain or something like that. I've seen I've seen little bits. Um, and let's t- see. The one after that is uh, the remake of Shaft, um, kind of like a sequel, because uh, I watched the trailer for it the other day, and his Oops. son. The is, Shaft um, remake's coming out. I'm... Also in June, uh, Toy Story Four. Holy uh, fucking shit! Really? Yeah, yeah. D- Disney and Pixar are beating the shit out of that one. <laughs> <laughs> and no, I, I've never I, said a bad thing about Pixar ever because I love their stuff. I love Toy Story. I I do too, but come on. Sometimes you just gotta let a franchise go. Okay, well that's a shocker. What's that? Um Keanu Reeves is playing someone in Toy Story 4. He's voicing Neo. Someone. He's back as Neo. <laughs> a Neo doll. Oh, let's see. Both uh, Key and Peel are voices of characters. Both funny ass people. Okay. So, well, you know, that might be interesting. We'll see. I, I, like I said, there's there's certain times you just need to let a franchise <laughs> die. Like, just let it go. Yeah. I hate that. Uh, I just realized what I did. <laughs> I didn't do it purposely either. God damn it. Anyway, they just need to let it be. Uh, next movie, uh, I'm not too thrilled about. Uh, there's no way on God's green earth I'm ever going to watch this movie. Uh, but I know Wilde's all about it, and that is I just, Child's Play. 
Yeah, I'm I'm excited. I'm excited for the new Child's Play movie. I want to see what they do with it. I don't think I think it's a rehash. I think it's a re a remake. I want to see mother my buddy doll kill people. Anyway, I want to see it. I want to see Chucky. Starting to get PTSD flashback from my childhood. So. Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? Okay, moving on. <laughs> I wish I had. I wish I had the my buddy doll. I'd have him like just fuck with you. I'm gonna see. Coming out in July. Everybody's favorite. I don't want to go, Mr. Stark. Uh, Spider-Man, Far From Home. Why, why am I dying? Oh, I don't want to die. I don't want to go, Mr. Stark. I don't, don't want to go. Die. Don't, don't, don't uh, I don't want to die. But Tony Stark did get to use his Dustbuster part of his suit. <laughs> you're, you're a dick. Go on. Okay, so uh, next one on the list I knew nothing about. Minecraft, the first movie. I heard about that. I, I actually, I think I even posted something on the Facebook page about that. Uh, let's see. A teenage boy and his unlikely group of adventures must save our world from the malevolent Ender Dragon, Terrobrine, the king of Minecraft. Wow. One of the writers was uh, Notch. Who was the creator of Minecraft? Marcus Pearson. No information on uh, on anybody, any cast members or nothing. You know, it'd be uh, funny is if it's like if it's like just someone with a camera and like a really bad pixelated fucking like pickaxe and just going up to real trees and shit. That would be really shitty, but I doubt it. Seeing as how you know, the creator of Minecraft has. Uh, billions of dollars. Yeah. Uh, next one on the list is Lion King. Supposed that, to be coming out in the middle of July. Yes, that one I'm excited about. I want to see. Oh yeah. I want to hear. I want to hear Mufasa. I want to hear Mufasa's voice, the Darth Vader. Yeah, I want. I want to see. I want to. I'm curious to see what they do uh, with this. to watch because Lion King was one of my favorite, one of my favorite movies growing up as well. You know. Next one on the list is uh, I'm actually curious to see. Is uh, Fast and the Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw with uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson and Jason Statham. Now, in the the last uh, Fast and the Furious movie, I know those two did not like each other at all, but kind of had to work together. You still there? I'm still here. I'm just shaking my okay. fucking head. Like I'm, I'm not. I, this movie does not interest me. I don't want to see the Fast and the Furious 1000. I'm. I just well, another franchise. I just need to let go. I'm not interested yeah. in that movie. Fuck that movie. Fuck the Fast and the Furious. I'm tired of that shit. I'm tired of it. It should have died like on Fast Five, and that was it. It should. It should. Or three. They should have finished it. Yeah. But that's my no. opinion. If you love the movie, that's okay. I see it as a cash grab, but. That's me. So, uh, next movie on the list, uh, I know uh, Wild is super excited about this one. It's supposed to be coming out at the beginning of August, and that is Dora the Explorer. Oh, fuck yeah. Mi nombre es Wild. <laughs> oh, wow. I can't fucking wait to see that movie. Do you oh, see the yeah. pencil? Do you see the ring? Could you Ask point me the one ring? more time? I'll stab you in the neck with that <laughs> fucking pencil. <laughs> That's good. I mean, for those people who have kids and want you know them to learn something in the movie theater, which I won't be going to because <laughs> I want to actually watch movies and not hear. <clears throat> There's a reason I'm not a dad, and I'm not, I guess I'm just an uncle to other yeah. people's children. So next one on the list is the movie that I am the most excited about. Is this the one? For 2019. This is the one. Okay, okay. I've been, um, I've commented on it and talked about it in previous podcasts. I've talked to Wild about it for years, wanting it to become a movie and in August, it is supposed to be released. And that is Artemis Fowl. This is actually the movie that <sighs> when they did the podcast on books, he talked about me being a fucking centaur. 
And yes. and and thank you, fucking Minder, for photoshopping me onto a centaur. I was amazing looking. She uh, she sent it to me, <laughs> and then That's sent it to him. She wanted me to do a video. And then I posted it on Discord. Yeah. <laughs> Super freaking excited about this movie coming out. Um, so the centaur right before... character, who is that anyway? What you explained who he was in the in the podcast? A genius. He he's like a a, a tech genius. Uh, if you he's kind of like the Tony Stark of the fairy world. Like you would say, maybe like uh, well, let's well, let's not use Tony Stark. Let's use um. Let's use Bruce Wayne. Yeah, but Tony Stark's so much better than no, Bruce no, Wayne. No, 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 no. Fucking he, shut your face, you fuck. He, I get what you're uh, saying. Un, he's, unlike the two of them, he's not rich. He's just super fucking smart. Really smart. Uh, he, he can put, he's like, he's like the, uh, the MacGyver of the fucking, that world. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I've been dreaming about these books becoming movies for so long. Now, is this the first, first book in the series? This, this movie? is the first book. They're not, like, going three books ahead and fucking it up. Oh, they better not be. Um, I would be be really pissed. Introduce the villain Uh, and shit before... But uh, what what I've seen from the the trailer, uh, which I watched right before we started this podcast, it looks like it's going to be right on line with the first book. Okay. Artemis Fowl II is a young Irish criminal mastermind. Kibnets, a fairy LEP recon officer, Holly Short, for ransom to fund the search for his missing father in order re- to restore the family fortune. Okay. So in this first book, mm. Artemis Fowl is the bad guy, but at the same time looking for the bad guy that took his father. So, okay, uh, we find out why he's not the bad guy, hopefully. Super freaking excited about this. So is this another Disney uh, movie? It, uh, uh, wait, hold on. What'd you say? Is it a Disney movie? Yes? Yes? Go oh, fuck yourself. So it's one of those Disney movies that are probably going to ring until there's nothing left? Uh, they got some good writers, dude, in Disney. So nine you might... books? There's nine books, I believe? Yeah, they're going to ring the fuck out um, of this. Which uh, they kind of tie in with another set, sort okay. of. Um, yeah, they're they're looking to ring the fuck out of this, but yeah, but Disney's got some um, good writers. Disney's got some got some good people on their payroll. Uh, getting sued by um, uh, that Mickey nin- Mouse. That I'm ninja, going to move on. The Disney ninja cutting off your testicles. Uh, also in August, uh, scary stories to tell in the dark. It's a horror movie. Is it for um, kids? That's what it right sounds now. like. It sounds like it's for kids. Man. A something... group of kids face their fears in order to save their town. It sounds like something you bring your child to to like fucking scare them straight. And that's that's all it, I've got on it. So we we got very little information on this movie, and we probably yeah. will get a lot of a lot of that as we go on. But so let's let's yeah. go to the next one. Let's continue on. Okay, uh, next one also coming out in August. The Angry Birds movie two. The first um, one sucked. I thought the first one was pretty I mean, good. Okay, it was cute, but it wasn't like it's one of those movies that they hyped the fuck out of, and then you watched it, and it was like a queef. I have no fucking clue what that's supposed to mean, but uh, sure, we we can go with that, I guess. I I don't think oh, it I'm warrants. Not a sequ- it, I'm not saying it was even close to the best movie ever, but I thought it was pretty good. Okay, I don't think it warrants a sequel. That's what I'm saying. Uh, well, nothing usually does, but, I mean, they still have them. Well, you know, sometimes uh, there's that rare occasion where the sequel is better than the original, so you, you never know. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's hope. Okay, um, the beginning of September, um, I know you're you're kind of excited for this one. It Chapter 2. Anything It I'm excited for. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not, no. Well, we're going to sit down and watch these movies, and I'm going to dress as a fucking clown. And we're going to sit there, hey, and that, I'm, that, I'm going to uh, have my arm around you, and I'm going to smile at you. I'm going to have those fucking teeth that, that are all fucking really sharp and edged and fucking creepy looking. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my tongue out. I'm gonna... yeah, and you're no, going to no, shit no, your yeah. panties, and it's going to be great. I, I know you thought it was hilarious, that thing that, that I uh, that I posted on, uh, on my Facebook page. How did uh, it get me into the sewer? Oh, yeah. 
yeah, shit was it, funny. The it tacos. Offered me, it offered me tacos. <laughs> yeah, Wild responded to it with, dude, I'm all in for tacos. Fuck that, dude. I, I will dive into that fucking sewer for some tacos. <laughs> you know what I had for dinner that night? Tacos. Uh, Joker in October. Well, that's okay. A it's fucking stupid. Stand- a Stupid. failed stand-up comedian is driven insane and becomes a psychopathic murderer. All it takes is one bad day. I Depending on how they do it, it might be good. But okay. Um, maybe now not. It's kind of peaking my interest a little bit. Why is that? We've got Joaquin Phoenix, Robert De Niro. Okay, some uh, good actors. Brian Cullen, okay. amazing comedian. Okay. Brent Colin, who okay. is an amazing actor. I take it back. Maybe I will watch um, this. Glenn Flashler. But it sounds like it's a DC movie. Actor. And you already know um, what happens to DC is. once it hits the movies. I'm 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 kind of intrigued here at, at the moment here. Okay. So uh you know when I saw it earlier I wasn't really too sure. No, I was totally sh- I was totally shaking my head. <clears throat> I'm not sure that I was the the Joker looks no. Th- th- this guy looks like a uh, look. A your gay eyes are so it big. reject. Your eye looks fucking. Your eyes look huge. Like you're so excited mm. right now. You're like a gay it reject. No, no. All you have to do uh, now is rub your nipples, and I think we'd be complete. Wait, what the fuck? October can't get here quick enough. Wow, what's going on in October? Not that I I love October. Zombieland Double Tap. Oh, the second Zombieland movie! God <laughs> damn, I can't wait. Oh. I can't wait. I love me some. Oh. We, it's been too long since we've been with those people. We need some Zombieland. Oh. And they all come back. Yeah, I've, I, I remember seeing the, the pictures. They all come back. That. All four of them move to the American heartland as they face off against evolved zombies. So it's it's kind of like a Left 4 Dead kind of thing. And the growing pain of a snarky makeshift family. I hope they find more Twinkies. God, now I want a Twinkie. I want a Twinkie. The big BM's coming back, baby! Bowel movement? Bill Murray, motherfucker! Oh, he's gonna be in the movie! As is. And... A... Dan Aykroyd. They're in. You're telling Zombieland. me they're in Zombieland. It's showing. Uh, oh. Yeah. Emma Stone, Zoe Dutch, Abigail Breslin, Woody Harrelson, Bill I gotta, Murray. I gotta change my underwear. Jesse Eisenberg, Dan Aykroyd, as Dan Aykroyd. I wonder if they kill his ass. Because uh, they killed I'm, Bill Murray. They killed Bill Murray. Right. Uh, the film um, reunites Bill fair. Murray and Dan Aykroyd, who both previously worked together on Ghostbusters franchise, which Wait, is also how distributed are they bringing Bill by Columbus Films. How are they bringing Bill back? He's fucking dead. How do you survive that? He's an evolved zombie. Oh. And, I mean, that's that's the only that's only, the only explanation. Explanation is he's an evolved zombie. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing a fucking podcast on zombie land i'm writing that down yes all right you know we're gonna yeah. watch we're watching that movie you're coming we're gonna we're going to the theater together and watching that uh, motherfucking the, movie also in october are you afraid of the dark okay that's a good throwback oh yeah and it's uh definitely fucking looking like it's from <laughs> it's a throwback really uh feature film based on the nickelodeon series are you afraid of the dark Awesome. Uh, Paramount Pictures, so it mm, could be interesting. Fantasy horror. Yeah. Continue. Let's continue. Next movie is uh, The Addams Family. Oh, and you know uh, I love The Addams anime. Family. Oh, yeah. October? Um, and it, uh, yes, middle Good of time. October. Good time for it. Good time for uh, it. Um, it's kind of looked like it's animated. At the same time, it's kind of looked like it might be a little bit of claymation. Huh. Um, not really too sure. As long as it's not like uh, fucking bat- Alita Battle Angel where it's all like... No, but it's, it's looking like it's going to be good. Uh, ooh. I love me some Adam's Family. And I think we'll do a podcast on the uh, 
the old movies. Like when I say old movies, the old '90s movies, and maybe even the old yeah. show. I loved it. I, I there's so much information on the Adams family that just would be fun to share. So we'll, it's something we can do in yeah. the future. Now, do you know who uh, Chloe Grace Moretz is? No. Off top. Uh, do you you watch Kick Ass, right? Yeah, of course. Oh, she was uh, uh, Mini Hit Massacre. Girl. She was Hit Girl. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. She grew up into a rather lovely young lady. Yes, yes. Very attractive, very beautiful. Uh, now seeing her age, uh, yeah, I feel like a dirty old man. How old is she? Younger than my younger sister. Well, you know, I, I, I just need she to... She will be uh, 21 this year. 21 in full fun. What? English, English Grizzly, try it. Middle of October. Okay. The best biography ever made. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. Oh my fucking god. Tom Hanks portrays Mr. Rogers. Tom Hanks? Tom Hanks. Dude, if you could see this thumbnail right now, you you you'd be doing the same thing I am. I'm laying down and my feet are in the air, just kicking my heels, going, I, "Oh my god!" I just have I just have this like this Forrest Gump impersonation of 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 what Mister Rogers would be, and but I'm excited for this. This I don't know, man. This is gonna be great. It's gonna like, this. This so far the year of 2019 is gonna look like it's gonna be fucking amazing as far as movies go. And just talking about this is making it even better. I'm glad we chose this as a topic. That's mid October. October yeah. is gonna be a fucking awesome month for movies, guys. Hell if this comes, yeah. if this shit comes out the way it's supposed to, like, oh my god, it's gonna be great. Just how you're you're done and over with with the uh, the Fast and the Furious and. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm fucking done and over the goddamn Terminator movies. I'm ex- okay. I'm gonna stop you there. I'm excited for. It. I'm excited. I, I'm tired of the Terminator movies sucking, because they have been sucking. But I, I'm, I want them to like bring the franchise back to like a good place. So if they make another one and it's good, I'll forgive them. If they don't and it sucks, then yeah, I'm with you the on that. The beginning of November is Terminator Dark Fate. Okay, Dark Fate. Wow, okay. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger is again the Terminator. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Linda Hamilton still playing Sarah Connor. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love me some Linda Hamilton. Um, I wonder if she's hot or she's older. Brett Zarr, uh, he's looking straight fucking rip, uh, is a T-800. But then it's got some dude named Gabriel Luna who is Terminator. It's probably because it's so far out. They're not. They're not even sure what to call him uh, yet. It could be like the T five thousand. I don't know. This guy looks like he weighs about as much as my left leg. Um, Jesus. So I didn't come on. No. Come on, Schwarzenegger. Come on, T eight hundred. I'll fuck you up. We did do a Terminator yeah. podcast, so. Yeah, um, I don't know. Th- this one uh, could be interesting. Uh, oh. Also, at the beginning of November, uh, oh. they're doing another Char- Charlie's Angels. <laughs> no, reboot of the 2000 action comedy based on the 1970s TV series. So they're rebooting a reboot. Oh wait, wait. Um, <laughs> two different Bosleys. Uh, uh, mentioned here uh, that, patrick what? stewart no pat mr stewart run run don't look back uh, at this one just go get the fuck out of there elizabeth banks um also marked down as bosley maybe um, like his wife or something okay that's okay i'm so excited for the other movies that we're talking about that we got excited for i can i can look past this Okay, here's another one that, when looking at this list earlier, completely caught us both off guard. In November, Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, I honestly, like, I wonder if it's going to be like the Mario Brothers movie. 
a cop in the rural town of Green Hills will help Sonic escape from the government who is looking to capture him. The Green Hill Zone. You're fucking killing me. You're killing me. You're fucking killing me. Uh... If it's better than the, the Mario Brothers movie, I'm going to uh... shit myself. Okay. I mean, it so, doesn't uh... take much to be better than the Mario Brothers movie, to be honest with you. But you know. Take a wild fucking guess on who's playing Dr. Ivo Roboto. Who? Jim motherfucking Carey. But it'll be interesting. Uh, who's playing, um, who's playing, uh, uh, what's the name of Sonic? There is voice actor or actor. Uh, Ben Schwartz. I was really hoping you'd say Jaleel White. <laughs> I was really hoping. I was so hoping you would say Jaleel White because it would just oh. fit. I wanted Urkel to reprise the fucking role, man. Jesus. I was, For I was... some weird, crazy-ass reason, I knew you were going to say that. I'm, I'm glad, because you know me. I, You know, and I didn't even care for the Sonic the Hedgehog series, but Jaleel White, man. The middle to end of November, uh, we have Frozen 2. Well, that that which, just means... Uh, that just means parents everywhere are going to listen to the same song for another year. We're gonna make, we're gonna make Gambit. He's gonna lose something else, and we're gonna make him sing this new song. And <laughs> we'll see. I, 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 like I said, it, it's gonna be one of those, another one of those things where, where um, kids are gonna be singing songs and driving parents crazy. As yeah. I know, I know, I, I wasn't. Even, I'm not even a parent, and that those that saw those songs like just walking by people and their kids singing that. Song. Next movie. Uh, is an untitled Jumanji sequel. No other information about it other than it's uh, a Jumanji okay. sequel. Oh, uh, okay. yeah, okay. So uh, that's in December. Okay. Uh, right before Christmas. Uh, I know you're super excited about this one. And that's Star Wars Episode Nine. Yeah, yeah, I am. I am very excited. I just hope it's not disappointing uh, oh, you know okay. what i don't so I, I have uh, good i have a good feeling about this one i do i think that this might be the one that does it the final chapter mm -hmm. of the saga from a galaxy far far away so this is the final movie no they're, they're, uh, they'll, they'll say that for but they're another gonna ring. for another 10 years yeah they're gonna ring the fuck out of this in the future they'll bring they'll they'll, they'll bring everyone back somehow magically just like with the, the infinity stone <laughs> <laughs> i would like to see the 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 baton past past the skywalker legacy we got to see the skywalker legacy we're done with the skywalker legacy let's go with yeah. something new let's do something yeah. else it, you know, you, you really fucked up killing Luke. You could have done so much better. But anyway, mm. we, we... Well, see, the, the real question for Nine is going to be, does Finn get lucky? That's the real question. Honestly, that's probably the most thing I'm curious about. Like, is he actually going to mm. pound the hell out of Ray or whatever Ray. her name is? Yeah. You know, is he going to show Ray his Ray laser gun? Right. His 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 laser his laser sword and see what happens yeah. there. No, I we'll see. I mean nine nine may redeem itself or it just might this whole thing might go out with a, just a puff of smoke and you know, Disney I don't think Disney's gonna allow that though. If you think about it, Disney Di, Di, Yeah. <laughs> Star Wars is one of their franchises that like they know they can just eat off of for years if they do it right. You know, there's a reason they bought it. They didn't buy it to fuck it up. Yeah. So, chances are they're pro. Though we'll see, we'll see. I mean, it'd be funny if we seen Darth Mickey in the future. You know. Ha <laughs> ha. No, it wouldn't be. Power funny. the dark side, bitch. Ha <laughs> ha. Force choke. The the date is to be determined. Um. So it it's got a uh the year for 2019, but it. I mean, it may come out sometime this year. It may come out next year. It's something you and I talk have been talking about for a few years now, and uh, that's a new Spawn movie. 
Oh yeah, we've we've been looking forward to the new Spawn movie. But uh, yeah. didn't we when we when we looked into this before? Didn't it say that 2019 or 2020 was the time it was coming out? Um, at the time it said it was just being like kind of jumbled around. So we that's got... uh, you know, some of the 91 movies that are supposed to be coming out. Oh. Uh, you know that's that. There's I'm sure there's gonna be more movies. That's just what we know <laughs> now. What we've looked up now. What's your favorite movie that we've mentioned so far? Do you have a movie coming out in 2019 that you uh, want to, that you're excited about? Maybe something we mentioned? Be sure to talk. Say it down there, guys. Oh, um, yeah. Let's and those... Say it in the comments. Um, Facebook, Minecraft. Twitter, Newgrounds. That is one that I was going to comment because we do have a lot of, a lot uh, of listeners followers on Newgrounds. We love our Newgrounds listeners. Um, oh, yeah. We get quite a bit of feedback from our viewers on on Newgrounds, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, fuck, are you doing? It's a scouter, bitch. I know exactly what it is, but you look. Fucking, you're just fuck you. Just let us know in the comments <laughs> of any of our social media. <laughs> a game or anything that you want us to, to review. Um, I know that there is a game that has recently come out that is uh, the talk of the town. Uh, Apex Legends. Uh, Battle Royale. Wild hates Battle Royales with a passion but is willing to try this game because he has heard so many good things about take it. Take what you guys say seriously. We want to know what you what you want to see, what you want to hear, and all that fun stuff. We do this as a hobby. We do this in our own free time. Well, yeah, which, we, is, we, which is why we take our hiatuses and breaks and stuff. Yeah. We enjoy, we enjoy knowing what you guys want to hear from us next. So if you guys want to hear something from us next, let us know. Let us, you know, put it in the... And if you're, and if you're too shy to talk in that comments box... We have a phone number. What's the phone number, Grizzly? We haven't done that in a while. 559-997-6803. Again, that number is 559-997-6803. <laughs> Let us know what you think. So with that said and done, everyone, I think we're going to go ahead and end episode 102. Again, everyone... Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for staying with us this long. Stay nerdy. Stay sexy. Always.